we left the Atlantic Ocean, finally got into the, what do you call it, the Mediterranean. And the minute we got in there, we, we figured we're going to know about something because the war is here and they bombed the hell out of our ship. <laughs> they bombed the ship that you were on? Yeah. And the one next... From the air? Huh? From the air? Yeah. Planes? Yeah. yeah. We're uh, German... So what? was your boat sinking? Huh? huh? Did your boat start sinking? No, they didn't, they didn't blow it up. Oh, they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. And how many guys were on the boat? I'd say 400. 400, and they're all in your... That's a guess. I may, I may be wrong. So, and they're all in your platoon? Huh? All in the same platoon? No, they can't. No, a platoon is only considered three, let's see, ten guys in a, in, in a platoon, 30 guys that represent the platoon, ten in each, each group. Okay. So, so but you're, you're... But we didn't have, we, we weren't assigned to anything until we got into Italy. And they assigned us to the third infantry division, and that's when I decided, well, that's ought to be fun. So was everybody in the boat from the third infantry division? No, no, no. they're from all. They're all recruits joined joined to join the other other outfits. Okay. So the artillery pieces and so. Where'd the boat start from? Huh? Where'd the boat ship out of? Roanoke, Virginia. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so where and like how did you find out that you had to be in the war? Was that just like everyone had to be in it? I got a letter in the mail that said you're drafted. You're going in whether you like it or not. What, you Were you like freaking out? No. no. <laughs> you weren't? No, we wanted to get the Germans. Jeez. Were all your friends going too? Yeah, yeah. That's so crazy. All the guys I knew were going to the military. So were you kind of like excited? Huh? Were you kind of excited then? Because like yeah, everyone's yeah. going? Oh, this is going to be something, boy. We're going <laughs> to. And then you get over there and boom. <laughs> um, oh, uh, <clears throat> artillery piece from Germany lands in your lap and you say, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> did you practice a lot or did they just give you guns and were huh? like did you practice a lot with your like weapons and stuff or did they just like give you a gun and like oh no we practiced before we got on that oh, okay. boat I don't know if they just <coughs> how long were you in training <coughs> I think six weeks six weeks something like that so you're in the army six weeks later you're Fort McClellan Alabama and I think they took me out on the rifle range and said, "No, you're gonna, you're gonna attack that building there," and and they didn't tell me what was gonna happen, so I went along, started walking toward the this building. All of a sudden, a guy comes out and stands up with a rifle. It was a, wow. an invitation, so I had to shoot at him, and then another guy came. Not a guy, but a, a photograph guy stood up. And I had to shoot at him, and I passed out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you told me about that. I yeah. fired at two guys, and I passed out. And then they, then they got me in the hospital in, in Alabama, and they came in to me and said, you're going home. I said, what do you mean I'm going home? Well, we, we did some checks on your blood to see what was going on. And you, you ain't gonna be around. You're good. You're you're gonna be dead in a week. And I said, "Holy mackerel! I blew my cork. <laughs> Where the hell do I get a hold of my company commander? I got a hold of him." And he he went after him and said, "What what the heck is going on?" Then they come up to me and said, "We made a mistake. <laughs> Joe Dokes, the guy that's got cancer, not you." <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like what just happened. Huh? <laughs> Sounds like the same thing that just recently happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you were, what, 19 then? 18. 18. Uh, and then... Uh, I was in 18 when we landed in 
Africa and still 18 when we landed in Italy. Jeez. Huh? Shannon's age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you first, when, you, when the boat finally got there, well, first tell us about the boat. What was it like on the boat? You were on the boat for how long? A whole month. Yeah, a month. So think no about food, that. No. What do you do for a month? You're just floating across the ocean. Jeez. What so, did you do? Huh? Did you have, like, activities, or did you just, like, chill? We had singing and dancing, but... <laughs> That's fun. The, that was in the, the main dining room. And uh, one guy that was in charge of that singing and dancing did a hell of a job. He got killed the first day in combat. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. A piece of steel and wrapped in between his lungs and his back. I said, can't, I said to the first aid guys, I said, can't you get that out of there and fix it? No, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. More fun. Yeah. So a month in the boat, and then, you, and then where did you land at first with the boat? In Africa. You went straight to Africa. Straight to Africa. Then uh, we, the boat got rammed by another boat, American boat, ran the front end of it, and they had to take two or three days in Africa to fix it. And then they took us into Italy from there. Okay. Yeah. What town What town in Italy? Huh? Where'd you, where'd you base out of in Italy? Just it, Naples was just taken by the Americans, and they... Italians had surrendered. Mussolini gave up and took off. So we went into Naples the day after they surrendered and set up a new front line across Italy to fight the Germans. And uh, uh, then our job, that what the Germans were doing was just setting up a defense, you know, they were they weren't coming after us, but we got out, we if we went up into a town where they were, they'd blow us up. <laughs> so so they were waiting. For three them. months we went day to day fighting Germans all the way up to Pont Monte Casino, and then uh, then we 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 took a week off and left Monte Casino and went into Anzio and then Beta Danzio, and that's where I got high, clobbered, you know. So you were three months in Italy before you hit the beaches of Anzio? Before I hit the beaches when? Of Anzio? Oh, yeah. So you already been there three months? Yeah, we had been fighting in those mountains for at least three months.